Isn't it a shame that the weather's just not great? Did you get it? Not great. How's it going everyone? Hope you've all had a, a lovely Christmas and you're all looking forward to New Year. First off, just let me apologise because number one, it's quite windy today. And number two, I'm absolutely full of the lurk. So if you can't hear, hear me very well, then I am sorry, but uh, I'll do my best to clean it up and edit in afterwards. So this is actually my fourth Christmas now since I set up my own business and started working for myself and in those four years I usually work right up to Christmas Eve and then I work between Christmas and New Year as well but this year I've not had a break at all I've been struggling a little bit so I give myself the full week off and as much as it's been nice to spend time with the family and everything else it comes a point where you just need to get out of the house. So I was actually supposed to be climbing Mount Snowden today, but I think the winds were like 95 miles an hour or something like that. So yeah, I've had to take a rain check on that. And I've just come somewhere that I come quite often, which is uh, Green Boost Reservoir. Um, I found this place about two years ago now, during one of the lockdowns. And uh, I've been coming here ever since. It's a good walk, uh, views all the way around really for most of it um, and yeah just uh, something to do, something to get me out of the house for a little bit so I thought I'd show you around a little bit while we're here and have a little bit of a talk about what's coming up next year. Not that you'd want to. <laughs> One thing to note is that in places there are a lot of stairs it can be quite slippy but that's not the worst part going down the stairs is fine when you get to the other side we've got to go up them Yeah, stairs are definitely the enemy. Gotta admit though, after you do get past the stairs, it's definitely worth it. Usually, this field is absolutely full of sheep. There are a handful in one of the fields over there, but usually you can get right up close to them. Really good if you bring the kids. Uh, I've brought Macy here several times and she's four. And she just about manages the full walk. 
is a bit tiring on the little legs and there are places where you have to keep your eye on them but if you're running low on money as most of us are at the minute you know it's a cheap day out you can come and have a picnic or whatever else and make the most of it I took my hat off because it was getting a bit too hot and typically the second I took my hat off it started raining it's not my head's getting cold because as you can see I've just got a little skinhead so I can't win sometimes when you're out walking either too hot or too cold there never seems to be any in between like I was saying earlier about there's a couple of places you need to keep hold of your kids this is definitely one of them I've seen plenty of people bail it uh, particularly when it's uh, a bit icy and a bit slippy sometimes the best thing to do is just go for it like that and then you end up in this marshy swamp <laughs> I don't actually know how well you'll be able to see this on the GoPro but one thing I've always wondered in all the times that I've come here is who lives in that house? It's always a bit mad when you see Amazon vans coming and stuff and dropping off parcels because it's literally in the middle of nowhere like even if you've got the postcode for it actually finding the place is a different task altogether so it just makes me wonder what, like, I don't know if it's the person that's responsible for looking after the grounds or what but what a place that must be to live waking up to this every day heavens are well and truly opened up now good news is when we get to that little overspill there you can actually get back to the car park and just do it in one half now if you really wanted to come back and do the other half another time but I'm just going to stick it out hopefully this rain will pass quite quickly and uh, I won't get too wet although I am wearing my new jacket which is plenty waterproof I've got this for the trip to Norway at the start of the year. Still tackling these puddles isn't fun though. So when I first started this channel it's because, to be honest, I was, I was depressed and I wanted to do it as a bit of a video diary as I tried to pull myself out of the slump that was in and improve my life but for the first 12 months I did nothing I didn't record a single, single video, I didn't upload a single video <clears throat> and then when I started again I thought that was the direction that I still wanted to take it in and as much as I think I will still do a bit of a video diary and a bit of an update on everything I think that this is the direction that I'm going to go in I'm already outdoor stuff it's when I'm in my element, it's what I like to do so next year I've got a couple of trips booked what is it they say, it never rains but it pours my battery died and then it started absolutely lashing it down I had to find some cover first before I could change it over anyway as I was saying for 2023 got a couple of trips booked already at the start of february i turned 30 so me and our kid are going to norway we're going to go do troll tunga there maybe a few other bits and pieces we're going to be camping in the snow <laughs> so that's going to be fun we bought a load of new gear for that we're going to be going to slovenia and doing mount triglav and lake bled um at the back end of september just after our kid's birthday uh, we're going to be doing Ben Nevis in Scotland, just all sorts, there's loads planned, uh, tough mudder, and hopefully I'll be running a marathon, so yeah, plenty to look forward to, that's for sure. Isn't it a shame that the weather's just not great? Did you get it? Not great? I think one of my other big goals for this channel in the long run is I want to help as many people as I can that are either maybe just going through a bit of a tough time or that actually are depressed I mean I'm not claiming to be a superhero I can't help everybody you know I've got my own family and business to run and everything else and this is just a bit of a hobby but you know if I can help some people out just by talking to them even for 10 minutes then that's what I want to do and you know show people that no matter how hard your life is at the minute 
you can always turn it around into something better so yeah, if you're one of those people that wants to speak or whatever else you can find me on twitter this life uncut uh, send me a message on there and I'll get back to as many people as I can you know don't even have to talk about your issues even if you just want someone to talk to for 10 minutes or you know you want to know where some of the places are in the videos and how to get to them or whatever else just so it gets you out the house for a bit and you can forget about everything and hit that reset button and yeah just just let me know Now, it might seem pretty obvious, but when you're coming down here, because you've got to get to that bit of the footpath over there, be careful, it's slippy. <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll post the pictures, unfortunately, not going on video, but one time, me and my family, we were racing down here, coming up and down a couple of times, and right as we got to the bottom, well, just, just after that second hump there that you can see, just as we got to the bottom there, uh, me and Macy bailed big time. It was funny, but it wasn't funny. I got an absolute dead ass. Macy was crying, obviously. But yeah, just uh, watch yourself. But still, it, it was pretty funny, I can't lie. the end of this video and uh, the end of the year as well actually so I hope you all have a good new year I'll see you in 2023 let's make it the best year yet please like and subscribe see you then